This video from UWGB Libraries will help you understand what a scholarly source is. This video will be going over the different characteristics of scholarly sources to help you identify them on your own. Scholarly sources cannot be found in newspapers, magazines, or on a web page. Instead, they will either be in the format of a journal article or a book chapter from an academic book. You may be wondering, how can I tell if a book is considered academic? The purpose of an academic book is to inform about some form of original research. It typically isn't considered leisurely reading by the general public. Additionally, textbooks would not count because its purpose is not to report on original research. As you read, you will notice academic books will cite their sources with either footnotes or some form of in-text citation. In addition, in the back of the book, you will find a list of all the sources the author used to help support their research in the book. The publisher of the book will also either be a university press or a scholarly publisher. If it's not obvious by the title, you can usually find this out by googling the publisher. You might also be wondering, what is a journal article? Journal articles are published in journals, sometimes referred to as academic or scholarly journals. They are the same thing. Journals are unlike magazines or newspapers filled with leisurely reading. They instead specifically publish scholarship within a certain discipline. For something to be a scholarly source, some form of original research has to have taken place. If I were an epidemiologist looking to publish my research related to COVID-19, I would publish somewhere like the International Journal of Epidemiology to share with other doctors and researchers within that field. When searching library resources, you can use filters to limit your results to academic or scholarly journals. Depending on the database you are using, the filter names may vary. Not all scholarly journals are peer-reviewed, so keep that in mind if a peer-reviewed article is a requirement for your assignment. See our video on peer-reviewed sources for more information. Scholarly articles are usually at least five pages long, if not more. It's not uncommon to find a 20-page research article. Sometimes even 50 can be normal. You will notice scholarly articles will often have different section headings as well. As you skim and scroll through, you might notice headings like abstract, introduction, methodology, review, and conclusion sections included. Depending on the kind of research, there are often different charts or graphs with data included as well. Evaluation tip. Make sure the source has been published in a journal or academic book. It's at least five pages long and includes different section headings. Next, let's talk about the purpose of a scholarly source. Remember, scholarly sources are intended for an academic audience, often in the form of original research or analysis. They are meant to advance the field of research, allowing others to build upon each other's knowledge. As an evaluation tip, skim through the publication information, abstract or introduction, to find evidence of original research or analysis. Next, we'll talk about the authors of scholarly sources. The authors will be experts within their field, such as a doctor, scientist, or professor. These experts have high levels of education, which is why they are considered experts. Here you might recognize people like Dr. Anthony Fauci, Toni Morrison, and Jane Goodall. You can find their research in medicine, literature, and science in scholarly journals. Keep in mind, experts don't necessarily have to be well known to you or a public figure. When your own professors publish their research in scholarly journals, they are viewed as experts too. When evaluating, check the author's credentials. If the article itself does not provide the credentials for the author, you can always look them up. If you notice a university name or email next to author, this is usually indicating they are a professor or researcher at that university. Next, we will talk about language and terminology in scholarly sources. Because scholarly sources are written by experts for other experts within their field, they will use advanced terminology from their discipline that might not be common knowledge for the general public. This is why scholarly articles can feel intimidating to read at first. The research itself and the title of the article will usually be very specific. In this article, the title includes the scientific word for the species they are studying rather than just using invasive round goby for the title. As you're evaluating, check the title or skim article for discipline-specific terminology or simply formal language being used. The last characteristic we will be looking at is sources and citations within scholarly sources. Scholarly sources will always formally cite their sources. Depending on the citation style, the source will either have in-text citations or footnotes within the article. There will also always be a formal bibliography, works cited, or reference list at the end, depending on the citation style. When evaluating, look for formal citations at the end of the article, as well as formal in-text citations or footnotes. 
To conclude, when trying to determine if something is scholarly, take all of the factors into consideration. Just because you find one characteristic when evaluating does not mean it automatically qualifies as a scholarly source. Visit our scholarly sources guide in this URL for more information. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions about scholarly sources, please contact a librarian by visiting our research help page. Thank you.